So I'm Petri Arvilehto, I'm the Chief Creative Officer at Seriously and... I'm Andrew Stalbo, I'm the CEO at Seriously. And uh, we're here to talk about a subject that's probably pretty familiar for many here. We're talking about why it is so important to build brands on mobile and how the entire entertainment industry is changing. And then we're talking about our approach, how, do we, how we have started a company built, uh, built a team, built a product, built an IP, and uh, effectively how we're building brands on mobile platforms. So I think what's interesting about the industry right now is there's a huge audience shift happening from traditional consumption devices to mobile devices. And I was reading a story yesterday that I think is a great example of that. And it's that for Disney's Frozen movie, people have spent more time playing the Disney mobile Frozen game than they have spent watching the movie. And that's, that's a great sign for people building something in the mobile ecosystem. Because if you are, you're doing it ahead of many other people that are building content for other platforms. And one of the biggest things on these platforms, one thing that's incredibly huge on mobile platforms is the reach. Right now, if you look at today's successful mobile games, some of the biggest titles reach 100 million people during a single day. Every single day, that level of audience. And that's completely unprecedented in the history, basically, of entertainment to begin with. There, there has never been a medium where you have this level of scale to work with. And uh, for us, uh, that's, that is one of the primary drivers why we're building the brand so that we can reach a huge amount of people. And uh, one of the best ways to do that is by going completely free to play. We've seen the entire ecosystem on mobile shift from premium to free. And on free, there is no friction. You can be playing the game in 30 seconds from the, hey, I'll take a look at that, and, uh, and you're in the game. And this level of frictionless entertainment is uh, pretty much very, very new to the entertainment. You know, we believe that the biggest entertainment brands in the world are going to get built on mobile first. There's our superbly talented character artist, Miguel Francisco, drawing there. And I think a good example of how people can build brands when every day people are taking their content consumption device around with them in their pocket, a great example about what's happening is there was an article in Variety very recently in the last, in the last few months that said that among millennials, the biggest stars today aren't Hollywood actors or actresses, they're YouTube influencers. And I believe that that's as a consequence of audiences shifting quickly to mobile devices. So for us, we're trying to do something amazing creatively focused 100% on mobile. What's very interesting for a content producer today about mobile is that your game or your app is the platform. We treat our games like a service, not a product. So as soon as we're launching, we're continually thinking about our new updates. And we've got an update that's going out to Apple today with new levels, new features, new functionality. So the app is a brilliant platform for your, for your IP. The beauty of mobile is it's inherently social. If you can actually build something that people love, then you're building content on a platform where other people can share it. And the real trick is, can you get your audience to be your CMO? And then something that I think is very unique and for the first time in history has happened, if you think about the great entertainment brands of the last 30 years, they've all been built on sight and sound, audiovisual. Now for the first time, you're seeing a generation of brands get built on the power of touch. And I think that's a sensory advantage for people that focus on mobile and the creative process. 
What's super interesting, though, is this has taken a lot of the incumbents off guard. So the average American consumer, and this is data from Flurry, the average American consumer spends just under one hour a day playing games on their smartphone and tablet. That's a huge shift from, from traditional media devices. What we're doing to try and take advantage of that shift is create IP that feels like it could be from an Illumination movie or a Pixar movie, but starts its life as a game. So really challenge the creative process that other great big entertainment companies are going through. And the advantage we have, if we can build something that really connects, is we then have that connection with the audience. So we get to see what the audience likes, what they don't, don't like, and we get to innovate against that. So we think that the power of having a connection to the audience and having that network effect to enable us to build a business is a distinct advantage to more traditional entertainment companies who are distributing their content through third-party platforms and don't always know who their audience is. And furthermore, to add to that connection, the one thing that comes with free-to-play titles or titles with massive audiences is that once we ship the game, we now have our first title in live phase. We're working with the audience. This is entertainment that's intended for everyone. This, is, this isn't uh, this isn't exclusive entertainment, this is inclusive for, for the entire audience to enjoy. And we're constantly analyzing the data, seeing how the players behave, and every single update we're improving with the content, with the balancing, trying to make the game much vastly more fun for the, for the live players. Which brings us finally to Best Fiends. We've been, we've been talking a bit about um, how we think about brands, how we think about creating brands on mobile platforms. And uh, here's how we approached our first, first property. First of all, we started with how do we get the best possible people? How do we get great people, great teams, build great games? So we've been trying to build like a, whether it's uh, Miguel Francesco, who's an insanely talented character artist, whether Reko Ukko, who joined us from Natural Motion as, uh, as uh, leading game design. We tried to get a very small, very focused team of elite people within seriously. But on top of that, we started looking, how do we find the best creative partners to work with? And we were lucky enough to get um, Heitor Pereira, for example, who's the composer behind Despicable Me, who would do the music for us. And he did an incredible theme song that we then recorded with 68-piece um, orchestra in Budapest, and, in, and it turned out really well. And uh, we brought in, uh, in uh, pilot studios that are some of the world's best visual branding talent. And these are guys who, who work with the biggest entertainment brands. And they would take our designs and elevate them to a different level, polishing everything up, creating poster artworks. We created effectively, uh, effectively we created the IP first. And then we started looking on how do, how do we derive a roadmap of several games around this IP. And once we'd invested all this effort, into the, into the Best Fiends IP, defining the world, the characters, the conflict, the context, the comedy, then that functions as a foundation that we can then build on. Where our first game is live, it's doing extremely well, we're very happy with that. The next game is slated for, uh, for a release uh, 2015, and we have very, very big plans uh, going forward on how do we take this IP and create something that's vastly bigger than just one game. So we're super excited with the start we've made. If you haven't already downloaded Best Fiends, please do. <laughs> um, you know, it's amazing. We're a tiny, small company. We're just 13 people, insanely talented creative studio here in Helsinki, and then building out business development and marketing in Santa Monica. But a small team of 13 people with a game that's only been in the market a month we're already clocking in at 125,000 hours a day of gameplay, and a billion slugs have been <laughs> defeated in our, in our first game. So I, know, I think that we're really excited about the start, but that's just the foundation for us. 
We've got some awesome things that are coming as we evolve and build out our map and our world and our characters as a platform to develop this IP in the future. And this is just the beginning. So thanks so much for all of your support. Thank you.